And our favorite film critic is Bonnie Lawfer. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you. I'd like to thank everybody at CH Morning for giving me <laughs> for giving me the chance. I really do appreciate well, it. How thank, you doing, Bob? Good. <laughs> thanks for getting up early. Okay, Sunday night Oscars. Let's get to your picks. Let's start okay, with the. Let's uh, start with us. Okay, so you know what? It's been a bit of a, a foot race this year because we thought the power of the dog was really going to just speed in there and grab all the awards. And then a little movie named Coda came in. Yeah. It's on Apple TV Plus. If you haven't seen it, I highly, uh, highly recommend it. It's uh, it stands for Child of Deaf. Adults. It, it's just an unbelievable film. So let's start with Best Supporting Actor, because I was always, when I saw Power of the Dog, I thought Cody Smith McPhee had it. But then you see Troy Kotsur, uh, his performance as the um, Amelia Jones's father in, in uh, Coda. He is absolutely wonderful. He takes your heart away. He has a lock on this. He has been winning all of the awards. Yes. The fact is the Critics' Choice. This performance from Troy, a deaf actor, uh, I don't think uh, uh, since Marley Matlin anyone has gotten an mm -hmm. uh, Academy Award. And Marley Matlin. And there she is like, beside him. Yeah, she plays his wife in the film. It's an absolutely phenomenal, heartbreaking performance. So I'm going with uh, Troy Kotzer. I think that is okay. a short. I want to make a special note about J.K. Simmons and, and being the Ricardos. He yes. transformed into William Frawley as Fred Didn't Mertz. He? But anyways, I yeah. I agree. But, yeah, I to uh, totally best, agree on that. Best Supporting Actress. Best Supporting Actress. If that's, you know, it's always one of those, like, oh, my gosh, everybody in this category is so good. Let's start with Ingenue Ellis, who played um, Venus and Serena's mother in King Richard. For me, she was just superb. She is the glue that holds that family together. I don't care about King Richard. It was Queen Ingenue. She was amazing. However, uh, like I said, everybody in this category is so great. Jesse Buckley in The Lost Daughter. But Ariana DeBose, who took over the role of Anita in the new West Side Story. She, you know, those are big shoes, top shoes to fill, my goodness, you know. With Rita Moreno, who was in the film, yeah. being there, you know, the pressure that this girl must have felt, but she's a, such a great actress, singer, dancer. I loved her in Schmigadoon and The Prom. I saw her in Hamilton on Broadway. This girl is going places. Okay. She will win the Best we'll, Supporting Actress. We'll watch for that Sunday yeah. night. Okay, uh, we only have a couple of minutes here, so let's quickly okay. get to Best Actor and Actress. Okay, best actor is, you know, that, again, a hard one. I was going with Benedict Cumberbatch, but I, it looks, it's looking to me like Will Smith is going to get his due for King Richard. He did a great job. He's done a lot of dramatic roles before. Uh, he's never been, um, you know, acknowledged for them. So I think that King Richard's going to get it. I think Will Smith is going to get his Oscar this year. I'm sad. I really personally wanted Andrew Garfield for Tick, Tick, Boom. He transformed into Gen uh, uh, Larson, um, Jonathan Larson, excuse me, for that film. But, you know, it, it, he's the dark horse, but I would love to see him. Uh, for Best Actress, um, again, this one, I don't like anybody in this category. I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, but I really do think I love Olivia Colbin in The Last Daughter. She's heartbreaking. She's amazing. You hate her. You love her. But it, mm, I don't know. I'm thinking Jessica Chastain may get this for the eyes of Tammy Faye. She really did transform into Tammy Faye Baker in yeah, this she film. Did. Yeah, uh, Penelope Cruz was also amazing. Like, wouldn't that be great? Because Penelope Cruz is nominated, and then her husband, Javier Bardem, for, yeah. uh, for the Ricardos. He, if they both won, that would be so cool. Yeah, I don't but who know. didn't transform is Nicole Kidman, and she's nominated. And well, that was, yeah, I, I don't think she delivered that one at all. I agree, I agree. And, you know, getting to the best, oh, best director, too. I think Jane Campion for uh, Power of the Dog has a lock on that as well. Uh, again, I loved Belfast. I think Kenneth Branagh can do no wrong, but I really love Jane Campion and what she did with Power of the Dog, so I think she's going to get it. Okay. But as for best film... Yeah, this goodness. is a toughie. There's a lot of biggies. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, yeah. so like I said, Power of the Dog was really, you know, right up there. And then again, Belfast, it won the People's Choice Awards at, at the Toronto Film Festival. I've seen it three times. I love Belfast, but you know what? I think the little underdog, Coda, is going to just sweep up there. It's really touching everybody's hearts. I honestly think if you watch Coda and you don't sob uncontrollably during one particular scene in this film, you have no heart. Okay, I said, <laughs> this film is just, like I said, there, you shouldn't, this film should be shown in schools, to children, to everywhere, to teens. It's a wonderful family film. 
I really kind of hope it, it creeps up there again. But, you know, if Power of the Dog gets it too, I wouldn't be upset. It was a very gut punching film and it really stays with you you know i still think about power of the dog and and how mean and awful but it better to come yeah. was film. it was amazing so lots of great stuff to look forward to this weekend at the uh Oscars. okay but with the best picture you're not really helping me with our pool here at morning live i'm sorry do i I'm go sorry, with coda you know I, I say go with the underdog go with coda okay <laughs> anyways okay. we gotta go All thank right. you bonnie okay no, my pleasure. Bye-bye. Right. Quick break. We've got the weekend you forecast coming up. Nothing to say. Do you have something to say?